Welcome to IVC 2018. We're at the Matrox booth and we're going to talk about a product we use and now there's a new version of it. Red Shark at IVC 2018 is brought to you by Matrox! Adobe! Black Magic Design. Tell me, we uh, know and we actually use for Retro Connect, we yeah. use your products. Yeah. So there's something new right now. Right? So we'll, um, so you guys have been using, been friends with us for a while. Yeah. Monarch HDX is the product you're currently using. Uh, we actually have three versions of the Monarch encoders. And uh, the third version, which is called the Monarch LCS, was uh, conceived for lecture capture for in schools, in schools where you would take the, uh, record both the professor and his PowerPoint presentation at the same time. And then after the, uh, the class, uh, that those contents are uploaded and students can view them at home. Now, what our users, our HD and HDX users, came to realize relatively quickly is that they could use this same technology of taking the both inputs. So in the, in the classroom, they're often combined in a side-by-side -side or picture-in-picture -picture, um, presentation. Uh, what they, they could use that for live streaming events. So it's very simple for enterprises, houses of worship, and very other um, uh, users that, that require both computer content and a video camera to be combined and to reach their social media audience in a simple and easy fashion. So with the Monarch LCS, we would call it a very a set it and forget it production streaming platform. Uh, the device got SDI and HDMI inputs, and you can then lay out the um, uh, the look that you want uh, with you know very simple user interface. Then when you're ready to go, you connect your cameras, one touch of the button, and you're off and producing and streaming uh, you know a very high quality shoot. So maybe that would be something that uh, Red Shark might be able to use in the not too distant future with some of their streaming productions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll try it out. Yeah. yeah. We um, so now to show we're two thousand now two thousand let me see. 13 or 14, we introduced the Monarch HD. HDX, LCS came later. They're all based on a similar technological platform. Next generation technologies come up. So at I 2018, we have our next generation Monarch products. We, Monarch was successful, we'll stick with the Monarch name. Yep. Uh, now it's the biggest brother yet. Um, this is a technology demonstration because we're now um, going to be uh, discussing the technology with partners and OEMs, people that could use the underlying hardware and software for integration with their larger workflows. But in the not too distant future, uh, certainly well before NAB, we will also have end user software to run the product. So uh, you can't be at the show here without talking about 4K. Yeah. So we have 4K inputs. So there's actually four SDI inputs. One could be 12G SDI or three, four 3G SDIs. We also have 2110, which is the latest broadcast over IP video standard. So uh, from a connectivity standpoint, really look into the next uh, generation. Uh, at the encoding level, we have up to 4K P60 encoding capacity. So that's enough for full four 3G SDI, or excuse me, four uh, HD productions at 60 frames per second or one full 4K. Just a couple of applications you could use with this. One would be to do traditional web contribution like Monarch HDX does in HD. But so if you're trying to target a 4K YouTube live channel, uh, we'd be able to do that with this product. But there's a couple of other interesting workflows that are coming around for um, in the area of remote production. So remote live production, where you don't want to send a full production crew uh, on site, you just want to send your cameraman, um, have an encoder, and send that content back to headquarters for in-house production before streaming. That's where this product would be very good for some of our partners who uh, are OEM, we're an OEM technology provider. A lot of these uh, partners of ours do that type of live production systems. So to be able to uh, integrate one of these remote feed encoders to come back into their live solutions would be uh, very interesting. And lastly, remote production uh, is now starting to move up into the cloud. So the cloud is not only being used for distribution, but more and more people are actually doing processing and production before sending it out. So it could be something as simple as adding um, a logo for a, a scoreboard um, for sports production. But how about sending multiple cameras up, having a user 
back at school or back in their headquarters, cut between the inputs coming up in the cloud, overlay the graphics that they're necessary, and then sending that out for their for broadcast. What you need in that case is just an encoder near the cameras, and the rest of that software in production will be done in a cloud service. So we want to be ready for that, and that's what we're here to talk about the product. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. They're actually making it a lot easier for these types of productions to really go into uh, a whole new workflow where you actually only have to send a very lean team on location, and then yeah. you can be basically have like one production house somewhere remotely. As bandwidth uh, costs continue to plummet, yeah. and infrastructure is more accessible to more and more organizations, uh, we want to be able to offer tools where um, production, live production can be done uh, easily and affordably. If you don't want to miss anything from IBC 2018, then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come on, hit that button.